The table below lists the average number of books checked out per day of the week for a branch library. We are asked to make a line graph of the data. To do that, we begin with drawing a horizontal line and a vertical line. And we're going to, along the horizontal line, list the days of the week. We have, I'll abbreviate them, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we can label this day. Now the vertical scale will show us the number of books. So let's label that before we figure out exactly how to scale it. Number of books, or the number of books checked out. And then we have to look back at the data to see how to actually scale this vertical scale. We check this, these numbers, we see that on Monday the fewest number of books were checked out, 160, and on Saturday the most were checked out, 420. So we want to represent the numbers between 160 and 420 somehow, so our scale needs to cover those numbers, but not much more. Which is why I drew this jagged line here, because we're going to start counting a little below 160, say 150, and we don't need to show the part of the graph below 150. Let's count by 50s, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, and I could keep going, but that's high enough because my largest number is 420. Now I make a point on the graph for each value in the table, and I start with Sunday, there were 210, so I make a mark about 210 above Sunday. Monday, there were 160. Tuesday, there were 240, a little below the 250 line. Wednesday, there were 270. Thursday, 310. Friday, 275. And Saturday, 420. Now to complete the line graph, I draw line segments that connect the adjacent points. And when I'm finished, I will have drawn the line graph. I try to draw as straight a line as I can between the two points that are adjacent to each other. And this is a line graph that represents the data.